All right, everybody. Hey, Matt here, and I'm here with Trey Zeller, founder of Jefferson's Bourbon, and we are actually in the parking lot of our newest uh, renovated store here in Canby, and we just cracked an awesome bottle of this Jefferson's Reserve Old Rum Cask Big Red Liquors Single Barrel. So I thought if we're gonna have the, uh, the brand founder here, I might as well do my video today with Trey and taste this bourbon. So um, tell us a little bit about the profile of the, rum, the old rum cask. You got it, one of my favorites, Matt. Um, and I don't know anybody that still has an old rum cask in stores right now. Yeah. We haven't bottled it in a while, so we won't have a bottle in it for a little bit as well. It is limited because we get this from the old family or old Goslin family reserve uh, of barrels. It held bourbon for four years, rum for 16 to 20 years. They send them back to us before we go ahead and put the bourbon to finish in there for about nine months. Okay. So I love this. This is one of my favorites. You know, the, the coconut, the, the molasses that really come out of here, really permanent yeah. and, and prevalent. So yeah, I think the key with the rum finishes is that you want you want the you want the qualities of the rum. You want a little bit more of that fruitiness. You want some of that tropical flavor, but you don't want it to sweeten the bourbon too much. Correct. And that's the key with the, the, the balance. balance on that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think this kind of bevels the edges off the bourbon. So you do get some of that sweetness, but in it up front, then it goes all bourbon mid palate, and that fruit comes back. It's the still end. a nice spicy nose, though. You still get a nice yeah, rye you, characteristic. Right, and it's a high rye that starts off with, so that really comes through as well. Mmm. It's like candy. Oh, yeah. You definitely get that nice, like, a really intense tropical note. But you do get the, the spice on the mid palate. There's a little bit more of that fruit. And then, again, the sweetness just kind of finishes. Yeah. Great finish. Yeah, lingers on there. 90.2 90 proof. Correct. So it's a very drinkable proof. And I always try to encourage people, if you're used to just only drinking barrel-proof whiskey, it's great to downshift into these 90, 94 proof whiskeys because they're so damn drinkable. They are. And if you just want a glass of whiskey, you don't, no ice, no cocktail, I think going under 100 or 101 being kind of the cutoff for that is great. And I think specifically when you're finishing, that a lower proof, say yeah. lower proof, 90 to 94 is not exactly low proof, right. but compared to you know some of your big, bigger ones, you're able to get those nuances out. You're able to get the flavors that you're finishing with that is not just you know, kind of overpowered by the alcohol itself. So they really come through. Yeah. Well, well here I'll show, I'll show people a picture of the bottle. Right now we've got all of it at our Canby store, but we're going to spread it around to some other stores. This is a fantastic single barrel offering, and I'm glad that we have the Old Rum Cask in. And thank you, Trey, for coming to uh, to uh, sign some bottles for us today. It was fantastic, and appreciate you being here, and good luck with everything. You bet. My pleasure, Matt. It's been a long, fruitful uh, relationship that we've had. So it's been great to be great friends for a long time. Oh, yeah. Enjoyed it. Love it, man. Cheers.